I can't believe I'm allowing myself to film right now when I'm in the middle of a breakdown. So yeah, I'm obviously not doing good. <laughs> I reached my limit. Um, we are on day three. I have like no food left. The stop where we were supposed to stop for half an hour, we don't get to get out because we're running behind schedule. I am just like in need of nutrients and just to like get out of this cabin. It's just been like three days of being in these rooms and hashtag first world problems, literally not used to this kind of living. So um, that's the update. <laughs> Good morning friends, I hope you guys are having a splendid day. Today on the agenda, I am currently in Khabarovsk and will be going to Irkutsk on the train. Now if you do not know where those places are, they're fairly far apart in Russia, meaning that I am going to be on the train for 2 days, 13 hours and 49 minutes. I have never done a train journey this long in my entire life before. Most of the trains here in Russia and Ukraine that I've taken are all overnight trains. So basically you just get on at like 9 p.m. and you get there in the morning. So it doesn't even really feel like you've sat on the train for so long because, well, hopefully you've been asleep. But I will actually be on the train for like three days <laughs> during the day. and. I don't know how that's going to go. I mean, in a way, I'm excited and looking forward to it because I can actually maybe rest. <laughs> I feel like I've been like, go, go, go all the time, not giving myself any downtime. So in a way, I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, I'm a little bit claustrophobic and I like to have my space and I like to move around. So I got second class, which is coupe and there's four people in a room. So it's not as intense as what I heard Platt's cart is like, but I'm hoping that the people that I'm gonna be going with are gonna be nice and that it's gonna be an easy sort of journey. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along as I go, but I also wanted to make this video as a sort of helpful guide to those of you who are interested in doing a journey like this and other things you need to know because if you don't speak Russian it can seem a bit intimidating to do this kind of trip on your own. So whatever helpful tips I can pass on to you guys, I will try my best. Now before we get going, I just wanted to address the luggage situation because it is a bit different than when you go on an airplane. Overall, you're actually not that limited with how much you can bring. I think there's a maximum of three large pieces. But the main note that I want to make about all of this is that if you are going on a multiple day journey, it is going to be tricky with other people in the room to kind of open up all of your luggage all of the time. So this guy, for example, I'm just going to store underneath the uh, lower bunk. I'm probably not going to be touching it at all. So I've also locked it up and then over here with these two bags this is the one that i really want to always have on me it has my change of clothes it has a little toiletry bag now this one in my particular case i probably will be opening up a little bit because it's going to have my computer and i do want to do some editing on the train and my computer doesn't fit in that bag so this is kind of my secondary bag that any extra things that i might need i'm going to have in this bag just because it's easier to open than my big one. So just be mindful to put all of your necessities in like one main bag so you're not going in between all of your stuff and constantly having to like uproot the room for everybody. And the other thing to mention is snacks. <laughs> Make sure you bring some kind of snacks with you on the train because even though they will be selling some stuff on there, I think it's a good idea to like pack some granola bars. I have some grapes, I have some tea and some coffee. So of course you can buy all of those things on the train, but usually they do cost a bit more and I just sometimes worry that maybe they won't have it. So bring a few snacks, be somewhat prepared and pray for the best. So I just ordered my taxi and I use the Yandex app instead of Uber here. Um, no particular reason, just because the locals tend to use uh, Yandex more than Uber and I've had really good experiences and it's also super cheap. My ride is 130 rubles, I believe, which is basically like 
less than three Canadian dollars. So that is worth to haul all of this luggage instead of me getting on public transit. So I would highly recommend, don't have to speak Russian, very easy. So as you guys can see, I just arrived to the train station here in Khabarovsk. Uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning. My train is at 10.30 and usually they don't uh, let you on the train at least half an hour before your train is set to go but I just like to arrive early just to make sure I have everything and find where I have to go so I would recommend the same for you. So this is actually something new for me. I can see my train which is uh, 007 Vladivostok to Novosibirsk and it says that it's arriving at 9.54 and leaving at 10.34. So basically what this means is that this train is coming all the way from Vladivostok and it's going to Novosibirsk so I'm kind of getting on while it's stopped at the station and most likely <laughs> that's going to be happening a lot in the next three days. So we are on the platform and it was announced that my train is going to be on platform 4. I thought it was already here but it is just coming in. So here we are, my train car is number six. People are getting off here in Khabarovsk and we are going to get on. Usually here you just uh, show your ticket and your passport to the Pradovnitsa, that lady right there or man, whoever it is. So here I am on the top bunk as always. It is generally cheaper to um, get the top bunks than the lower bunks, usually like a $20, $30 difference. And honestly, I don't mind it. Um, I decided to put my bag with my laptop up here so I can always have access to it. And then I'll also be putting this day bag up here. So as you guys can see, this is the room. I already met my train mates, but they actually went outside to say goodbye to people. And so far this train actually doesn't look as nice as the last one I took, but it is all right. So the main thing that sucks about this train right now is that most trains actually have like an outlet in the room. Here you have to kind of like sit here to charge your phone. So this is the first thing that's not great. Yeah, see this is definitely a retro train. Uh, the one that I came here on from Vladivostok had like much newer stuff, but we're getting the old Soviet experience then. Oh guys, I am worried. <laughs> I thought that this was going to be like a very similar train to the one that I had coming here with like a restaurant and them coming around with food and I'm worried that it's not going to be and I really don't have enough food for three days so I'm really going to have to probably get out at each station and get stuff and I'm not sure how I guess I would mitigate this in the future. I guess you have to really research what each train type is is because there are like multiple trains going to the same place. I made the mistake of probably choosing the least inexpensive one thinking that they'd all be fairly similar and that this was actually the best departure time as well but I guess you should really look into the class of service. So a lesson for myself. <laughs>
wipes. God, guys, I have no words for today. I basically just laid in my bunk and lived on instant noodles. And I thought we were gonna be stopping so much more than we actually did. It's like 8.30 right now, and this is the first time that we've actually gotten out and had a store. I'm literally rushing back right now so I don't miss my train. But I got the most random groceries, not much healthier than instant noodles, but it'll help me survive another day. Well, good morning, guys. It is day two of the Trans Siberian Express here, and um, it's been interesting. It's been okay. Um, in a funny way, I actually feel like this is probably exactly what I needed in a very twisted way because I've kind of had a pattern, not just this trip, but basically all my life, to really feel like I constantly have to be doing something productive. Like I thought, okay, like I got three days on a train, sure, I'll relax for some of it, but I can edit videos, I can plan stuff, I can like get caught up on my social media, I can have a shower, <laughs> but all of those things are just not really gonna happen on this particular trip so it's kind of forced me to actually make the best of it and sleep mainly i think i slept like 12 hours yesterday and just like relaxed didn't really think about much so i'm using eckhart tolle's advice and surrendering to the situation making the best of it and finding out that like yeah, I know, it's not actually that bad. Yeah, it sucks, I don't get to take a shower. Yeah, it sucks, I'm not living on the healthiest things for three days, but I know I can make it through. Like, I have done way rougher travel than this. I think it's just because I have done so much more like roughing it kind of travel that I'm kind of getting out of that phase. I'm like, I will pay the extra 20, 30 dollars to have a more comfortable train. Like, I'm not here to pinch that many pennies here. I'd rather travel comfortably and get the experience than be uncomfortable to just save some money. I'm actually very lucky right now where I am in my own room that I stealthily uh, found because everybody else in my room is still sleeping and I'd like to have some breakfast and I have the top bunk so I'm not gonna sit up there and make oatmeal. So you could say I'm basically a genius. <laughs> I used my old um, instant noodle packet as a bowl and it came with a fork because they have no bowls, no nothing here. So I was thinking like I do have instant oatmeal but how am I gonna make it? Like am I really gonna put it in my tumbler because I want to have coffee in here? But no, I used my instant noodle bowl. I washed it out as best as I could, put my oatmeal in there. They always have hot water on the train. I have a pear from yesterday's grocery haul, some coffee, and a beautiful view. Look at this. Magic. Magic. <laughs>
I got a gold mine. There's uh, usually some babushkas selling some food and the one here was selling pierogies. I was able to get five for 50 rubles, which is basically a dollar. Uh, and that is much better than my instant noodles. So this is today's lunch. We have some pierogies that I'm very grateful for. I believe they're with uh, potato and cabbage. I got a little um, spicy carrot salad yesterday at the grocery store. And I got a bottle of water. This is so wonderful compared to instant noodles. guys we are on day three it's about 12 o'clock right now and we are at Keylock station only for like 10 minutes so not too much time to even go grab anything but I will say that this journey is kind of starting to wear on me I really would like to just walk around for a longer period of time have a shower just get there already and it looks like we're basically an hour behind schedule. I don't know if we're maybe going to catch up. I'm hoping so because originally we were scheduled to get in at like 10.30 p.m. But now it might be 11.30. So by the time I get to my hostel, maybe have a shower, it's, it, it's going to be late. So we are back to... Um, instant noodle soup. Uh, I'm actually running out of food, which is surprising. I thought I had bought so much, but I have been like eating everything. I think the only things I really have left is grapes and dried fish. Having said that, we are getting closer to the end. It's about 12 or 1 o'clock right now, and we should be getting in hopefully before 11. So I mean, 10 hours is like nothing <laughs> after what I've been through. I can't believe I'm allowing myself to film right now when I'm in the middle of a breakdown, but you know what? So yeah, I'm obviously not doing good. <laughs> I reached my limit. Um, we are on day three. I have like no food left the stop where we were supposed to stop for half an hour we don't get to get out because we're running behind schedule so yeah i have instant noodles and maybe candy that i can buy at the kiosk here but i am just like in need of nutrients and just to like get out of this cabin it's just been like three days of being in these rooms and just like constantly people and i'm an introvert i need my space i can't be around this many people all the time and hashtag first world problems literally not used to this kind of living. A part of me feels very conflicted in saying this because I'm aware that probably the majority of the world literally has to struggle for just getting food every single day and it has insanely serious problems in comparison to what I am dealing with right now which is why I would say hashtag first world problem survivor but it's interesting because since I do live in Canada and stuff like this would just not happen <laughs> you know it's like if Canada has a train which I guess we do with the via rail not that I've ever taken it really outside of Niagara Falls but it's like there would be a restaurant for sure there would be half hour stops at the very least when they say there's going to be like these kinds of things 
things I'm just saying would not happen in Canada. And you start to believe that that's normal, that that's how the whole world works, but no. No, that's not how things work in the majority of the world. And, you know, if I lived here, I guess I would know how to plan for these things and I would be aware of these things. But since I don't and had such a positive, you know, first experience with the Trans-Siberian Express having, you know, all these commodities and only having it be like a half day journey, I was not prepared. I was not prepared for this journey whatsoever and uh, I feel a bit embarrassed that I'm as emotional as I am about where I'm at but that's where I'm at and I feel like this is what my vlog is about. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm not perfect. I'm not always put together. I complain about stupid shit and uh, that's where we're at right now. So we are on packet number five of instant noodles in three days. <sighs> I mean, it's not even that terrible, but like, as somebody who tries to eat fairly healthy, this is when you actually realize that eating healthy does make you feel better. <laughs> when you have to eat this kind of stuff every single day, you feel a difference. And when you don't move, you feel a difference. So, being healthy, y'all, is a privilege. Because this, this does not have many micronutrients. Bon appetit. that I was angry and upset because I think it's one of those instances when you just try and pent everything down and say I'm fine this is fine this isn't bothering me at all when well it is um, that's when that kind of stuff happens so I actually feel better <laughs> after expressing my resentment and uh, after eating my noodles and having some quiet time because the people um, that I was traveling with have actually all left now I am the final survivor <laughs> on the train. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments down below if you've ever had to take a journey like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Keep being your own kind of beautiful. <laughs> Bye guys.